Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here, and what we're going to do here is show you how you can get rid of uh, distortion when filming with wide-angle lenses, uh, and not necessarily uh, DSLRs with wide-angle lenses, but also action cams like GoPros. Uh, you can remove the distortion effect, the barrel distortion in your video, with a very simple but free plugin. And so if you want to download this plugin, it's from Alex4D. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's a very, very, very easy to use and free plugin that you can install in your Final Cut Pro. And it's a very quick fix for removing distortion. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Okay, so once you download the plugin, uh, you're going to run the installer that comes with it. And it's going to put it in your uh, video effects browser. So after you have ran the plugin, restarted Final Cut Pro, uh, you're going to go over here to your effects browser. And you're going to see a, a category, basically, an effect called Alex 4D. You're going to click on that, and you're going to see the Alex 4D wide angle fix. And so basically, this is just like any effect that you would apply to your video. You can click and drag it on over to your clip. I'm going to start with this clip here. And as you can see, as soon as I drag it over, it immediately corrects that curve in the video. So if I toggle this off right here, you can see that we have a major barrel curve right there and then we'll click that on and it corrects it. And you can see we have a, a couple little options here. They're labeled as GoPro, so GoPro 90, GoPro 127, GoPro 170, but uh, this the the GoPro thing is really throwing a lot of people off, but what it really is is uh, a lot of different cameras use the same field of view, so you can probably get away with start playing with some of these. So obviously a 90 has a little bit less, the 170 has a little bit more straighter uh, correction there. And you can also use custom here and play with the custom angle and kind of uh, kind of change it yourself. So you don't have to just use those preset lens types, you can actually use the custom angle. So you can see, we'll go back here to the 170, it immediately corrects it. If we go to a couple other clips here, uh, this has a very nice straight line. If we were to turn this off, you can see that bend there. And it takes it from looking like a like a GoPro footage like it would be, and it takes it to looking more like a, a professional photo or a professional video that you would uh, take with higher end cameras. So we can go over to this option here. This is a little bit less dramatic, but again, we're gonna click on over here and it'll automatically apply its fix. But you can see we even just fix a little bit of that as well. It's not, again, this one's not as bad as the first one. Uh, but it does a very good job of fixing that barrel distortion. And then we'll just use this last one. This one's a kind of a cool one. This is a, like an FPV drone type simulation. So, you know, most likely they were using some sort of GoPro here. But if let's go to this point in the video here. We'll drag this over and you can see we correct that there. So it looks pretty straight, pretty hor uh, hor horizontal with the, um, with the uh, horizon there turn this off and turn it back on you can see the difference there so uh, in this option here uh, you have the custom option that you can change you can also add grid lines this will uh, help you kind of straighten up your uh, your uh, custom correction if you were going to do it that way you can also rotate the grid to kind of match the horizon that's in that specific part of the video and you can also change the colors of the grid lines this really helps it stand out a little bit more uh, on certain clips but uh, very easy very quick very free uh, you can also donate as well uh, to use this plugin but it's a fantastic plugin very easy to use uh, and I'm certainly glad I found it because uh, you know GoPro footage is very popular and this is a great way of turning that footage into looking less like a GoPro camera and more like a regular traditional uh, you know mirrorless or DSLR camera that you would take video with so thank you guys for joining me in this video check out the link in the description down below that'll link you to the free Alex 40 wide-angle fix plugin for Final Cut Pro thank you for joining me see you in the next one